All right, so Mr. Ring going over the pre-calculus chapter 4A test. This is the non-calculator portion taken on uh, February 20th, 2019. Question number one. What is the reference angle for 300 degrees? Remember, uh, you're starting in standard position, zero degrees, and you go counterclockwise for positive degrees. So that would be 90, 180, 270. This would be 300 degrees. So basically 90, 180, 270, and then this would be 30 degrees. So there's only 60 degrees left. Therefore, your reference angle, this is the bow tie part. This angle here is 60 degrees. So your answer would be B. Notice that the <coughs> reference angle and the other angle, 30, are complementary. Blank plus blank equals 90 degrees. Question number two. Find the exact value of cotangent of theta given that sine of theta is 3 over 4. And theta is in quadrant 2. So notice my bow tie. Sine is y over r, so my y value is 3, my r value is 4. This is your y value because it parallels the y-axis. r is the radius, so if you draw a circle around it, center to the point on the circle, so this is 4. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is solve for x. Pythagorean theorem is r squared equals y squared plus x squared. Your r value is 4. Your y value is 3, so 4 squared gives you 16. Um, 3 squared gives you uh, 9. From here, I subtract 9 from both sides. I take the square root of both sides to get rid of the exponent. x is equal to plus or minus radical 7. Now, if you think about it, x is going left. So your answer is x is equal to negative radical 7. A common mistake was just putting positive here. To find cotangent, cotangent of theta is x over y. So your x value is going to be negative radical 7, and your y value is going to be 3. So your answer is cotangent of theta equals negative radical 7 over 3. I gave you three points if you wrote negative radical 5 over 3, or maybe if you wrote positive radical 7 over 3. Um, also, if you didn't show your work for a radical 7, I, I took off a point. You got two points if you just wrote uh, got radical 7 but nothing else, or maybe you knew uh, it was going to be cotangent is x over y, or if you drew your triangle in the correct quadrant, I gave you partial credit. The number one mistake for students, check your paper, 16 minus 9 is 5. A lot of students wrote this. The reason why after I grade your papers and then I'm coming up with this video is that this is what I saw a lot. Not like one student, five students. I would probably say at least 20 students of my 120 pre-calculus students. Question number three, multiple choice. Find cosine of theta. Here is theta. This is your starting position. You have the opposite. You have the adjacent. You're essentially missing this one, which is the hypotenuse. So I've solved for the hypotenuse. You can use Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem is used when you have two sides of the triangle and you're trying to find the uh, third side. So I called A7. B9. It doesn't matter if you label this one B and this one a, what matters is that you're trying to solve for the hypotenuse. 7 squared is 49. 9 squared is 81. You add those two together, you get 130. Take the square root of both sides. C is equal to plus or minus uh, 130. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side closest to this angle is, well, you have two sides that are adjacent, this one is the adjacent because this is the hypotenuse, so 9 over radical 130. Can't leave it like that, so you're going to rationalize, take this number, write it twice. 
here you get uh, 130 and then numerator 9. 9 radical 130 over 130 and that would be choice A is your correct answer. That one's two points or nothing. Question number four. From a hot air balloon, the angle between a radio antenna straight below and the base of the library downtown is 57 degrees, as shown below. If the distance between the radio antenna and the library is 1.3 miles, how high is the balloon? It has a question mark there. I put an X. If you label all of your sides from the given angle, you have the opposite. Across the right angle, you have the hypotenuse. And then the last side is the adjacent. Notice how that hypotenuse has nothing next to it. There's no variable or numbers. So I'm crossing off the hypotenuse. If I cross off all the other two trig functions that have the hypotenuse, you're left with tangent. Tangent of the angle, tangent of 57 degrees equals the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite side is 1.3. <laughs> This adjacent side over here is x. To solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. 1 times 1.3 is 1.3. x times tangent 57 is x tangent 57. To get x by itself, I'm going to have to divide because there's multiplication here. My calculator radio equation. CRE, calculate rate equation, is 1.3 over tangent of 57. And you'll notice this problem because it's on the non-calculator portion is actually finding out which of these, this was a calculator, um, which of these is the calculate rate equation, your answer is C. And that side is worth 12 points. All right, you ready for my secret? I took this from my geometry test. Backside. You're supposed to fill out the unit circle. I did mine in two minutes and 34 seconds. I was looking that you had all of these for four points. I looked around, going around, you had all the degrees correct, all of the radians correct and all of the order pairs including their pluses and minuses. So if you forgot a minus or a plus, I might have shown that to you and then you took off a point. I may have circled your radians if you're incorrect. So if you had uh, one mistake, then I, I took off a point. And the reason why I did that is so that you can use it as a reference. Just like in the next problem. This is where students started leaving a lot of blanks. Remember, if you just repeat the problem, like you just rewrite it again, that to me it's not a genuine attempt and you get a zero. This problem says 4 times tangent of 5 pi over 4 minus 2 times sine of 70. I'm going to find the tangent at 5 pi over 4. Tangent is y over x. If I put my finger at 5 pi over 4, 1, 3, 5, 5 pi over 4. Tangent is y over x, so that would be uh, radical 2 over negative radical 2. Here they cancel um, they're both negative and negative divided by negative is a positive and the same expression over yourself, so be careful here, when you cancel it's actually equal to 1. So tangent of 5 pi over 4 is 1. And then 4 times 1 is 4. To find sine at 270, 0, 90, 180, 270. Sine is the second order pair. So here, radical 4 divided by 2, radical 4 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is um, 1, and this is a negative. So sine, the order pair here is 0, negative 1, so my answer is negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, and 4 plus 2 is 6. Your answer is 6. If you got at least one of these correct, I gave you two points. You got zero points, you wrote the original problem. 
Um, you got three points if you got both of these correct, but you did not get six. Just look at your order of operations there. Question number eight. Find the angle of smallest. So when you think of the word smallest, think of a number between 0 and 360. Possible positive measure of coterminal with a given angle. So here, I'm not just adding or subtracting. I'm not having two answers. I'm trying to find a number that's between uh, essentially 0 and 360 or 0 and 2 pi. I have negative 2 pi over 3. One equation I gave you guys was blank plus blank times um, um, n or number of rotations. So in this case, I only have to do one full rotation. So how do I do add negative 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi? Well, they have to have a common denominator. I'm going to use 3 over 3. So if I multiply across, I get 6 pi over 3. Negative 2 plus 6 gives me my answer of 4 pi over 3. I gave you three points if you found the exact value. So you uh, were not asked to actually use pi in any case. Or maybe you found your answer in degrees. So 4 pi over 3 would be... Um, 240 degrees. So if you wrote 240, I probably took um, a point off. If you just have the equation plus uh, blank times 2 pi or something like that, then I gave you two points. Question number nine was actually using your unit circle, or you can just draw out the triangles. Question number nine, find the exact value. Cosine is 7 pi over 6. If you locate 7 pi over 6, you'll notice that this number is greater than 1, so it has to be past the 180 degree mark. There it is. You're asked to find cosine. Cosine is the first order pair. There, that messy writing says negative radical 3 over 2 is your correct answer. If you, uh, basically, to get full credit, you would have to have this. You don't have to draw your triangles. Um, but one thing that I was looking for is if you put positive, then I had to take off a point. How do you find this problem without using the unit circle? You can just draw out your triangles. Cosine at 7 pi over 6. If you convert, convert, um, uh, what did I do? Pi, remember, is 180 degrees. And 180 divided by 6 is 30. So 7 times 30 is 210. So essentially, you're basically finding 7 pi over 6 or 210 degrees. 90, 180, and 180 plus 30, that's how I got the reference angle here, gives us 210. Always across the 30 degree angle is a 1. In this case, it's negative because you're going down. That means this is a 60 degree angle. Always across a 60 is a radical 3. In this case, it's negative because you're going left. And then your r value in this case is a 2. Cosine is x over r, so negative radical 3 over 2. Question um, <clears throat> 9b, cotangent of 240 degrees. If you use your... Um, if you draw it out, you have 0, 90, 180 degrees, and right past 180 plus 60. So 60 degrees is what you would need as your reference angle, because 180 plus 60 gives me 240. Always across the 60 is radical 3. It's negative here, because you're going down. This is a 30 degree angle, therefore it's 1. In this case, it's negative because you're going left. And across the 90 in a 30, 60, 90 is 2. Cotangent is x over y, so that would be negative 1 over negative radical 3. Negative divided by negative is a positive. When you rationalize, you'll get radical 3 over 3 is your answer. Remember, you can always use all students' 
all students take calculus to double check. Over here, tangent and cotangent are positive. Everything else is negative. All students take calculus. You're here in quadrant three, so tangent and cotangent must be positive. Do you see how I'm using the acronym to check my answer? And if you decided to use the unit circle, 240 degrees, Here at 240 degrees, your order pair is negative 1 and negative radical 3. Did you notice how I'm not really looking at the denominators? You can. It just becomes a complicated fraction to simplify, but it's just easiest looking at the numerator. So you have negative 1 over negative 3, which you have right here. Negative 1 over negative 3. And the last problem, secant at negative pi over 6. Notice that this problem is... Um, not between 0 and 2 pi, so I found a coterminal angle. Add 12 pi over 6. The reason why I'm adding 12 pi over 6 is because it's essentially doing a full rotation. That gives me 11 pi over 6. Remember, pi is 180 degrees. 180 divided by 6 is 30, so essentially we're finding secant of 11 times 30, which is 330. You have 0, 90, 180, 270, to go to 306, 330 degrees, 330 minus 270 is 60. That means this angle is 30. The reference angle is 30. I have to use my special right triangles. Remember my bow tie. So that's the triangle I formed. Always across the 30 is a 1. In this case, it's negative because you're going down. This is a 60. Across the 60 is a radical 3. It's positive because you're going right from the origin, and your r value is 2. Secant is r over x, so that would be 2 over radical 3. Rationalize to get rid of the radical, and multiplying by radical 3 over radical 3. Multiply across, you get 2 radical 3 over 3. I'm going to double check my positive and negatives. All students take calculus. That means cosine and secant are positive for this answer. That side was worth 18 points, and this test was out of 30. Hopefully that was helpful for you.